Welcome to News at Night. I'm Tony. And I'm News. And Borden. He's the news. I'm the news. Uh, so, not a lot of things, but we'll uh, I'll go through the news for you this week. Uh, Luke Cage released this week on Netflix. Um, so, if you didn't get enough of him just randomly having sex with people on Jessica Jones, he's got his own show now. Right? Yeah. Right? What? We're not that far in, but uh, He's so had far. enough sex already. It's been one episode. Enough. He's had sex with one person. For like a um, whole season. Funny enough, though, um, Netflix did go down around the same time. That like like Luke Cage came out, so people are kind of wondering if like there's just, there was that much of a spike in usage for <laughs> like Netflix that it literally caused the whole service to crash, which is hilarious when you think about it. Like I mean, that's how big these shows are now. They're big. They're they're big. huge. Probably like Luke Almost Cage's penis. Big. I mean, what? <laughs> Next piece of news. <laughs> so if you were hoping for a Portal movie anytime in the future. It's closer than you may think. Apparently, it's a not that far off. Is from from what he was saying. J.J. Abrams, God. fucking J.J. Um, this recently, actually, this week, uh, Westworld is debuting the new show. His new show on looks H- fucking awesome, which looks cool. Yeah, it's it's on HBO. But uh, apparently, he was saying in an interview that he's like meeting with um, Valve like next week, and I, I guess that means this week for. Um, to talk about like getting this game out and i mean if it's anything like anything else jj abrams anything he touches turns to fucking gold so i mean do it justice i mean i'm not worried about that honestly if he's like if he's got his eyes on portal like what a cool like that guy i mean we're talking star trek we're talking star wars i mean this is like the only other ground he has to cover (laughs) (laughs) yeah i mean like even for his tv shows like lost and like you know fringe and stuff like that some of those shows were awesome they kind of Tended to go, but his movies have always been really fucking good. So I mean, I don't know. I'm not where I mean. Of all things for him to come out with Portal, that sounds fucking awesome. I would love to see a Portal movie. I'm excited. Next piece of news: uh, If you were hoping for another Assassin's Creed or Far Cry game anytime soon, uh, you might have a little bit of a disappointment coming your way. Quit it's, throwing it at us. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. It sounds like Ubisoft isn't. Uh, they didn't announce it officially, but one of the uh, developers at the studio did say that. It doesn't sound like they're coming anytime soon, so I'm, my assumption is that they're talking, like, next holiday season. So maybe 2017 holiday season, like, fall or Just uh, take Christmas. your time. Make a good game again. Honestly, it did sound like they were trying to do that, so, I mean, yeah, and that's the big thing, I guess. Like, it's... I mean, it's not like they don't make enough fucking money off these games, Call right? of Duty should should take a lead off this if this is successful. Call of Duty needs to take a year break. I think it'd be beneficial well, to the whole series. This is the whole reason why Call of Duty has three studios now, right? They they each get a three-year cycle because they're, they're mm-hmm. leapfrogging off each other. Whereas Assassin's Creed's never had that. They literally released, I think it was like nine Assassin's Creed games year after year without really fundamentally changing a whole lot, like adding small features... And essentially having the exact same gameplay and and, and game, uh, what's it called, like mechanics, mechanics that like we've expected for the past. And you know what? Some of them were really fun. Some of them lacked. I mean, I found I, I loved Unity's co-op, but it was a fucking bugged up game. And I really liked Syndicate. Syndicate was actually really good. Um, I liked the whole dynamic between the two characters. But like, even three was a bit of a mess. Like I didn't like three at all. But like, yeah, it's it's one of those things that I think they've gotten to the point now in that series where they realized. They need to kind of go back to the drawing board. Which, so, this is a good place to start, is by releasing the Ezio collection and getting us back to the roots of what Assassin's Creed originally yeah, was. Yeah, that's another thing, yeah. You need to follow off that, because... Because that's few, not too far off. I think it's coming out soon. No, and a few games have gone off that. Black Black Flag, I feel, was the most recent one that still felt kind of like I the old ones. Black Flag. And it was awesome. Fuck, did I love Black yes, Flag. But the other titles don't really have that nostalgic feeling. True enough, true enough. But so we'll have to see. Hopefully the next ones bring us back. PlayStation's giving out free shit. What? What? Like every month. Like just they're just giving this shit good away. stuff. Yeah, these month this month's games are actually really good. If you own Plus, you're getting Resident Evil HD, so the original game uh, in the HD remake, and Transformers Devastation, which I heard was short but was actually pretty short but sweet. Yeah, like short but sweet kind of game. Like it was a very fun, very nostalgic game. And I mean, if you're a fan of the Resident Evil series, the first game obviously started it all off and it was uh it's they did a really good job with these remasters. The remasters for the uh, the Resident Evil series have been really solid. And I mean, they're even coming out with um they've already come out with 6, 5 and I think 4 is out now as well. Yeah. So they've been like kind of re-releasing this whole series on the PlayStation 4 just to um 
kind of get those games back out there and stuff. And I think they're really trying to push it because people are like, that series has kind of died off in popularity a little bit, I find. And then like, I think they're really kind of banking on seven to, I feel like people are just like, we can make so much money. If we re-release <laughs> all the good ones we've already in our made, series. yeah, I guess that's a problem. I mean, like, yeah, re-releases have become very, very, very big. We've had uh, like three in the past month. Yeah, I know. But some of them are good, some of them are bad. Whatever. Uh, most of them are good. Most of them are good. If they're worth remaking, but if you have plus, <laughs> uh, don't forget to uh, go in and download those and give those a try because I mean, those are just free games waiting for you. Bungie. So in Destiny news, <laughs> what the I'm, fuck? Honestly, they have to do this shit. So. Um, the, uh, as we probably stated, I think we stated in the last episode, the whole, um, idea of farming Omnigool and Destiny. There's no reason to fight uh, Omnigool, and we had a reason, and you took it away. Yeah. Looks like they patched it so that you can't farm that boss fight anymore. For blues that are, um, that are high. I mean... It only got you to 365 anyways. Still, I mean, I, I understand, like, they, they want to, I mean, the funny thing is, it's funny that they patch out all these things that you can do repetitively to get gear... Even though the whole point of the game is to do things it's repetitively, repetitively to, get gear. to get gear, like <laughs> it's always funny because it's like, what like the remember the original one was the loot cave, and it's like, what do you do? Oh, you just stand here and shoot into that hole for <laughs> hours on end and wait for gear to pop up. And what's hilarious about this is it's all stuff that people, all this gear is going towards being able to do end game content. It's not that they want to get to max rank. Yeah, that's true. They want to just be able to do end game content because it's hard enough finding gear to get to. Because that Because they made it literally impossible. Purples do not drop past three six five. Yeah. What the fuck? I'm in there right now. Yeah, That's you're stuck below that. Struggle. I'm I'm 368. By the way, new exotic raid pulse rifles out. There's a yes. quest line for it. Yes, there is. Go not do it because it's literally fucking impossible without a good team. Yeah, you can find guides on how to do it, but that was the uh, final um, exotic weapon that people were waiting to find out what it was uh, now that yep. the raid is released. Gallahorn. You know what's funny? It's Steven. it's funny because like the guy stumbled across it pretty like randomly. Like there's like a handful of monitors that you're supposed to like light collect. up or collect or whatever. Yeah. You have to do an actual. There's a method thing you have to do where you have to convert something in a. Uh, oh, and it's, so they converted binary. Yeah, you have to convert That's binary. Right. There's, there's to find flashing. Location. There's flashing lights on the computer or something like that on like a server wall, and like you have to fucking. The guy had to convert binary like code to fucking figure out what it was. That's hilarious to me. That's that was I actually love, a big. I YouTube. love Destiny. Like, oh my god. The group that had found that weapon was uh, Dado Does Destiny. Okay. Which is a big YouTuber, um, and he was with another group of YouTubers, and the six of them worked together and actually figured this That's out. That's awesome. Which is kind of awesome because who better to find out something like that than a YouTuber? Yeah, no, that, absolutely. That dedicates themselves to that. Right. We'd never do that shit. No. We discovered you can talk into microphones and spread information. What? what? All right. Uh, that's it for the news this week. Kind of a, kind of a slow week this week, but uh, we're a little late. Yeah, we're Deal a little late. Uh, I had to move, so that's all there is to it. I just. There's, there's no other reason than that. I had to move. I, I had to sleep Born all day. Uh, we will be back later this week with another podcast. Uh, it'll be a little bit late once again just because the schedule's kind of shifted for or early. obvious reasons. We never dedicated a day for them. It could be early. You never know. How about fuck you? How's that sound? How about I just I uh, sit here for two hours and eat a sandwich like <laughs> slowly into a microphone? How would you guys like that? Put in the comments if you'd like that. If you'd like to see us do that. I'll just make noises, sexual noises while I eat. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next week.